Hello friends, I'm Tony Powers with the Pooter Stomper channel and instructor at the Pathfinder School. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an improvised hammock using a twin size wool blanket and some nylon rope. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab the corner of your wool blanket, go down about a foot, and then I'm just gonna place my rope right there. Make sure you leave a couple of feet of tag end here. And all we're gonna do is fold the wool blanket over, okay? Just like that. Then we're going to take our line and push it up a little bit because we want a nice gap in here. We're going to pinch that off. And the opposite of me, this is the corner, we're going to wrap three times around the whole blanket. So we're going to go one. There's one. We're going to go two. And we're going to go one more. And when we're done with that, we're going to take our line. We're going to push it through the hole. Now it's really important that both these lines are coming out the same side. You don't want the main line on this side and your tag end coming out of this one. So same side, we're gonna grab the main line and we're just going to cinch it down, just like that. And the beauty of this is, no matter how tight this gets, all the friction is on the wool blanket. It's not on the rope itself. So whenever I'm done, I can easily just pull the tag end out and it comes undone. So we'll just put that back in there, pull it really tight, and then we're ready to strap it to the tree. Okay, so the way that we're actually gonna attach this to the tree is we're going to just wrap the rope around the tree, we're gonna cross the ropes, and we're gonna make six wraps around both of these lines here toward the tree. So we're gonna go one, like so, this is gonna take just a minute because I have a lot of line here that I gotta work with. So there's one. We're going to go, there's two. There's three. We're gonna do this six times. There's five, we need one more. Okay, we're gonna bring this up. Now I'm gonna get a close up here and show you exactly how we're gonna finish this off. Okay, now that we have our six wraps, all we're gonna do to finish this off is we're gonna take that sixth wrap and make a loop. We're just gonna pull it out a little bit. We're then going to reach through that loop, grab the line, cinch it down. And then from there, get the height that we want. And I recommend you Get this up high because this wool blanket, especially if new, is going to stretch a little bit. Then from there, all we do is cinch it around the tree. And the beauty about this is, is whenever we're done, all we got to do is take the tag in, pull this out, and it just falls right apart. Okay, so we've got the opposite corner of our wool blanket tied off now. And on this side, we're going to finish it off the same way that we would our ridge lines. All we're going to do is grab the rope, wrap it around our hands reach through and grab the line like this and pull it towards the tree, creating a loop. I hope you guys can see that. Then wrap the line around the tree, pull it through the loop here. Get the height that we want and we want this up a little high. Like I said, it's gonna stretch a little bit. You may have to make several adjustments with this then we're just going to pinch off both lines, take this line, throw a loop over it, reach through that loop, grab the line, cinch it tight. If you want to feel better about it, you can do a little half hitch in here just to kind of give a little bit more security. Okay, now at this point, we're ready to get on it and see how it looks. Okay, so the only thing left to do is test it out. We're going to grab the middle of this hammock here kind of flatten it out we're going to sit down on it do this slowly and relax make sure you hang your hammock no higher than you're willing to fall i'm probably a foot or two from the ground only a foot actually and this is the right height for me like i said you may have to make some adjustments uh, sometimes when you get in it especially a new wool blanket it will stretch 
you'll have to get off, maybe raise that up, or sometimes you need to even retie everything. But once you get it right, it is very comfortable. This is actually one of the shelters that we taught the students at the intermediate class last weekend. And uh, they said that it was pretty comfortable. And I've slept in these a few times as well. And they're as comfortable as a regular hammock. They're not as wide as a regular hammock, but uh, it's still a good night's sleep. Now I know what some of you are thinking, why in the world would I build a hammock like this when I can just throw one in my pack? And you're absolutely right, you can do that. But there have been times where I didn't bring my hammock and wish I did. There's been times where all I've brought is my wool blanket, a ground pad, and just a tarp. And that was my plan for the night, just to sleep on the ground. Well, it rained while I was out there and the ground is all muddy and there's not a dry spot to be found. I need to get up off the ground. If you have a wool blanket, maybe 50 feet or so of uh, some quarter inch nylon rope you, you can get yourself up off the ground that's not the main thing the most important thing to take away from all this is, is to understand that everything in our kit needs to be multifunctional uh, a knife just doesn't carve it just doesn't process it can also start a fire if you have a high carbon steel knife our bandanas cotton material does more than just first aid uh, or hygiene it can also filter out water and things like that so we need to think about everything that we have in our kit and understand that it can be used for more than just its intended purpose a wool blanket is not just to cover yourself up with at night it can also be made into an improvised hammock so just keep that in mind when you're building your kit and real quick before I go because I know some of you guys are going to ask this is the twin size 70% wool blanket. You can find it at Self-Reliance Outfitters. There's a link down in my description box that'll take you to my influencer page. If this is not on my page, go to the search bar at the website and type in wool blanket and this should come up. I believe this was $25. That's a really good price and you can tell that it's really strong because it held my big butt up. But uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You know what to do. I appreciate all that. And uh, stay tuned because there's going to be more videos out. But thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.